Hi, I'm Angie. I want to welcome you to National Indoor RV Centers, where we specialize in the sales, storage, service, and detailing of only high-end, new, and used coaches. So basically, we do it all. Hi, I'm Angie with National Indoor RV Centers, and today I'm thrilled to be here to show you the 2022 Winnebago Forza. Now I'm super excited because we get to see two different floor plans. So I get to show you, I'll do a quick walkthrough of the 36H and then I'll do a thorough walkthrough of the 38W, which is the bunkhouse. Uh, there's also two other floor plans that you can choose from in the Forza family and you can just give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers and we can tell you all about that. Another thing I want to tell you here at the very beginning of my video, um, if you want to go to certain sections of my video, just go just below the the actual video on YouTube and there's a little arrow hit that arrow and it will have bookmarks for the entire video so you can go to one specific point if you want to see that look at two of the beautiful exterior options that we have on the Forza this is nightshade 2 and this is Mojave dusk there's also three other options for you so lots of options on your exteriors on your Forza so look at the beautiful front cap of the Forza. First of all, I want to talk about a few things. We'll go up to the rooftop. You can see we've got two antennas up there. One is for your Sirius um, radio. It's set up for that you, so you can add that subscription. And the second one is your um, Wi-Fi extender. Then we've got our marker lights. Notice the uh, flying W. You're going to see that throughout. Um, the video and I love that Winnebago Winnebago is iconic for RVs. I love that they brand um, Throughout the product. So I'll be pointing out those flying W's um, As we go along then we've got this great big windshield one of the things that uh, Winnebago does is they their whole they have the super steel structure here in the front cap so the windshield is mounted to steel just like it is automotively the windshield wipers are mounted to steel uh, the seats are mounted into steel the firewall is all steel. So, and then all that steel is e-coated. So if you don't know what e-coating is, um, it's one of those things you need to go check out in my Winnebago factory tour video, where I go through all the factory. They just opened up the doors for us and let us go and see everything. I think you'll find it really interesting if you're looking at buying a Winnebago. I wanted you to notice the beautiful front cap here, LED lighting. Just beautiful. There's also some cool lighting that's underneath the uh, coach that I'll tell you about when I get around the corner. But just really love the front cap of the Forza. Now the height, you may be wondering, this is just under 12 feet. So it's 11 feet, 11 inches. And then it is actually 40 feet long. Although it's called the 38W, it's 40 feet long. Um, a lot of people that might be getting into um, this particular floor plan, it has the bunks in it. So. Uh, maybe first time diesel owners coming from a gas unit. Uh, it's just a really high quality coach at a very affordable price. One of the things that the steel superstructure does for you is that you have a much smaller A pillar. And what does that mean? Basically, you're gonna have more vi visibility, less blind spots. So that's great for the captain and co-captain. So just notice that as you're shopping around. Then we've got our great um, exterior mirrors, though your exterior mirrors are your lifesaver. You can really see down the full length of your coach um, as you're driving. I'll kind of point that out when we go on our test drive. Uh, these are internally controlled and the camera is right in your exterior mirrors. So that's great because you can, when you put on your left or right turn signal, you're going to be able to see down the full length of your coach. Here is the dual fill for our 90 gallon diesel fuel tank. So you can fill that from the passenger side or the driver's side. It's always nice to have that option. And then just below here, we've got our D-ring or pet tether. So you can tie a pet to this, or you can use it to secure bikes or valuables that you have outside when you leave your coach that you, you know, wanna make sure they're not stolen. You can tether them to this. So let's check out our first storage compartment. You're gonna be really impressed with the amount of storage that you get in this Forza. So on this floor plan, you get 228 cubic feet of storage. I know that doesn't translate to everyone. So I'm gonna to try to show you too, just how, look at how big that opening is. And it's passed through, just at the top. And you've got a light in here that you can turn on, but the opening is 27, 27 and a half inches. And then once you get inside the opening, 34 inches. So that's a really big compartment. You're gonna have about 10 inches of pass-through space 
across the top and uh, that will go to the other side. That's going to be really nice for all the items, tables, chairs, stuff you want to take um, camping with you. Another big compartment here, like huge again. So huge opening, pass through above and below. You can see that they've boxed in that this is a straight rail chassis from Freightliner. And you'll notice that all the steel has been e-coated. Again, um, you'll see that process in my um, Winnebago factory tour video. Two 110 outlets up here, and then you have a little pass-through here. So if you want to plug something into that outlet and then thread it through the compartment so that you're able to shut the door, you can do that. And we're not done with huge storage compartments because here is our third huge storage compartment. Again, pass-through above and below the chassis rail. So much storage in this Forza. Dual pane tinted windows throughout, and we've got the tilt windows so that you can even have those open and get fresh air during the middle of a rainstorm. Midship marker light. A little more storage here, plus you're gonna be able to see your fresh water tank. So that's one of the things I wanna tell you too about Winnebago. Um, they're not just a perks assembler. They are an RV manufacturer. They manufacture about 75% of what's in this coach and one of the, those things are their holding tanks so they can literally customize a holding tank specific for each floor plan so in this particular floor plan you have one black tank that's 49 gallon and you have two gray tanks so they they've got the space for it they've given you two gray tanks one's 48 one's 51 that's 99 gallons of gray tank that's huge and then you have a 100 gallon freshwater tank here on the freshwater tank, you can see the sensor, which gives you a very accurate reading of your freshwater tank. So you've got your freshwater drain, your pump, your water pump, winter winterization valve. Now, if we are lucky enough to have you as a storage customer at National Indoor RV Centers, where you're always plugged into 30 amp or 50 amp service, whatever you require, you don't have to worry about um, winterizing your coach because it's gonna be indoors, you just let us give us a call, 24 hour notice. We'll get the fresh water tank filled up for you, check your tire pressure, and you're off and ready to go. And we store over 300 coaches indoors in each of our locations. Believe it or not, there is more storage. <laughs> so in the, inside this compartment, we have our 2000 watt inverter and our inverter battery disconnect. So if you are not storing with National Indoor RV Centers, somewhere you're plugged in, um, to 50 amp service, you want to make sure you turn off that um, battery disconnect inverter switch so you don't have any parasitic draw. Here in the back, there are the four Group 31 house batteries, and you can add two extra batteries. There's room to easily do that right there. Just below the batteries, we have the diesel particulate filter. Now, that's going to collect all the soot and debris off of the engine and then occasionally it will burn that off. I went ahead and extended the porch awning or the front entry awning and then the beautiful awning that goes along the side here of the Forza. So you have lots of, of shade and you also have the LED lights. The other great thing is that there's a little magic fun light that comes standard that's underneath your coach. Now, I'm gonna like throw this out to Ike, one of my customers <laughs> who first taught me about the boogie lights because um, he had installed them aftermarket. And so that's kind of like your disco lights underneath the coach. So it's just kind of fun. I've got them on. You can see obviously you can see them better at night, but you can control them by an app here on your phone. You can change the color and you can also add music to go along with the, the flashing lights. Your awning also has a shake sensor. So if you have a big, you know, if it's windy like today, it should retract them in eventually. Also, just word to the wise, I never leave my awnings out if I'm not here underneath enjoying them. Just in case there is that big gust of wind, you can get them in before there's trouble. Now that I've got the awnings out, lights are on, it's entertainment time, right? So we have our 31 inch Samsung TV and it's on a swivel. So if you want to release it, you just pull this here and then you can pull it out and direct the TV to your guests away from the glare, which makes it really nice. And the one thing that I love is that Winnebago makes all of their TV mounts. So they're nice and solid. They're not gonna rattle. That's for inside and outside the coach. And then in this compartment, you also have 
110 outlet and your um, satellite dish connect. Our last marker light for the passenger side of the coach and then we're here at the back. So let's talk about the chassis. This is on the Freightliner XCS Freightliner chassis. It has a 340 horsepower Cummins diesel engine, 6.7 liter. You have a 10,000 pound rated hitch and a 500 pound tongue weight. So you're gonna be able to easily tow your you know, 4,500 pound uh, Jeep Wrangler. Now, if you wanna know more about towing packages, um, National Indoor RV Centers does more towing packages than anyone in the country. So go and check out my tow package video. One of the many bonuses that you get with the Freightliner chassis is you get V-Ride, which is a rear suspension. It's gonna give you more stability, less tilt in all weather conditions. Exhaust for the engine, our seven way for our two vehicle and our hitch. Check out the beautiful rear cap. At the very top, we've got our marker lights. Right in the center, we have our rear view camera, and then we have the high brake lights. That's a custom thing that Winnebago does because they want to make sure, even when you're towing something, that the people behind you will be able to see you when you put on your brake lights. So another safety um, item that they build into this beautiful coach. Now let's go ahead and see what's here in the compartment behind these locks. Now you'll notice that all the um, baggage compartments, the TV, everything has a lock and this is the one key. So one key that is specific for this serial number. So it's not gonna open up your neighbor's baggage compartments. What, what would be the point? So anyway, we're just gonna unlock these. Underneath this, we have our power steering fluid, coolant, and you can easily see the levels in both of these, which is nice. Our engine oil dipstick, our Deutsch plug, which is where our technician at National Indoor RV Centers can um, communicate with, uh, for diagnostics with the engine. Engine oil fill, trans oil fill here, and then this is our engine air minder. So when this gets up to the red level, it's time to change that uh, air filter for your engine. And then the rear radiator. Little maintenance tip for your radiator to keep it working more efficiently. You want to occasionally just take your garden hose and just gently wash that radiator off so that you can keep it clean and working great. If you notice right at the very top of the rear cap, there's a vent there. That's gonna bring in clean air for your engine. So it brings in clean air, it's going, going to the air cleaner and then into your engine. On the driver's side, we have our dryer vent because you've got a washer and dryer in this Forza. And then we have the Truma Aqua Go system. This is going to be your uh, on-demand hot water, continuous hot water. When I say continuous, this has a 60,000 BTU. You can have a nice long shower. You don't need to worry about running out of hot water, you probably need to worry about filling up your gray tanks before you run out of hot water. Exhaust for your furnace, marker light, and your chassis batteries. Here's the fuse box for the rear part of your coach. So if you have a tail light that goes out, it will probably be right in there. Then we have our chassis batteries and the 12 volt circuit breaker panel. Now what's really nice about this is that most uh, Manufacturers will just give you fuses here and then you've got to have the replacement fuse. All you have to do here is just see which one's popped, sort of like uh, the turkey um, minder on your, on your, <laughs> on your Thanksgiving turker, turkey, and then you just push it right back in. Inside we've got our DEF tank. So that is our diesel exhaust fluid and that it does not like heat, does not like sunlight and it has about a year shelf life. So it's just something to think about when you're filling that up and, and something to monitor. You'll have monitors inside your coach as to let you know how full that is. Also, there's a gauge right here on it so you can see that as well. Right next to it, we have our 50 amp shore power cord. And the great thing is that Winnebago gives you a little port that you can thread that through so that you can then shut your um, close this compartment up and then still shut your door because the last thing we want is critters in our coach. SureGuard automatic transfer switch. And then in the back, we've got our cable connections and our satellite dish um, connection and a light for the compartment. Here is our wet bay. Nice that they've given us a light here in case we're having to hook up or take everything down in the dark. Now, 
If you want to see how I hook everything up, you can watch my RVing 101 series. Really great for um, newbies. Basically, I take a trip from prep, getting ready for the trip, getting to my campground, setting up, breaking down camp. So I think you might enjoy that. Light here, water pump, our black tank flush, and our normal fill. So we can hook up our hose here to the freshwater inlet, and then this is the different, just turn that which direction you're filling your tank. Our shower, so hot and cold, and then we have a nice shower head. This is great if you've been out hiking, if you've been to the beach, you wanna wash off before you get into your coach. No reason to take that all inside. Then we have our gray waste tank drain, our sewer connection, and our black waste tank drain. Oh, and this is our other gray waste drain. So we have the two gray and then the black, plus our sewer connection here water filter for the coach, and then fresh water drain. Big storage compartment on the driver's side. So again, this is a pass-through above and below. When you look down here, you can see uh, some of your holding tanks. Again, you'll see this they're kind of narrow. Basically, again, they can customize those tanks. They can even out the distribution of those tanks too so that the weight from the tanks is evenly distributed across the coach midship marker light and then another big pass-through storage compartment let's talk a little bit about the doors and the walls in winnebago so winnebago uses a thermal panel process basically they use fiberglass and then asdell asdell is used in the automotive industry as a barrier between the exterior and interior of the car so fiberglass asdell then your foam insulation um, thermal panel process basically. They take a CNC cutter and they cut out all the space for the aluminum framing, for the wiring, everything's very exact. Even on the windows they use that CNC cutter so everything fits just perfectly. And then they put the inner wall board. So you have a very um, sturdy, strong um, wall with great insulation and great sound barrier. Also notice on these doors, they've covered the locking mechanism. So as you start filling your storage compartments with all of your gear, you don't have something that kind of jams up that lock because it's nice and protected. And then you're gonna notice a little label. So a great thing about, again, Winnebago manufacturing this door. A lot of times these baggage compartments, um, they get damaged due to, you know, coming to a campground at night, a big boulder, tree limb. If you need a replacement, you call Winnebago with that information and they can order you a new one. So we have storage compartment, pass through that I showed you from that very first baggage compartment and then our LP tank, which is an 18 gallon LP tank. So the propane is going to be for your furnace, your cooktop and your Truma Aquago. There isn't a quick connect on the Forza, but we can easily add that for you at National Indoor RV Centers. And then another exhaust for your furnace. And then this is just a service point for your refrigerator for a technician. And the fuel fill for your 90 gallon diesel fuel tank on the driver's side of the coach. So we have again the 12 volt resettable breaker panel here for the front half of the coach. This is the exhaust for our 6,000 watt generator. And then this is the access port that we just wanna pull this lever to extend the front cap. Inside the front cap, we have our wussy horn down here. Now when I'm driving something this big, I wanna make sure I have my air horn on all the time. Air horns are right here. Our 6,000 6, watt generator oil fill for the generator and coolant and then we've also got the breaker here in case we were to pop a breaker while we're driving down the road this is where you would come and turn that back on so you can have ac while you're driving down the road and the windshield wiper fluid so now that you've seen everything outside let's go check out the inside now before i go inside i want to talk about the screen door I know it's not what you would think that would be a big selling feature, but it is with Winnebago because they make the screen door. It's one of the bigger screen doors in the industry and definitely the strongest. You can liter literally, <laughs> if I was strong enough here, you can move this whole coach. I can lean on it. I could probably do a pull up on that door. 
Um, it's, it's so strong, made of steel, E-coated, double hinge all the way up, so super strong and durable. I'm sure it's the strongest screen door in the industry. Then as you're stepping in, we've got uh, little nuts that secure these steps down, but you've got access points for service. So here is our hydraulic reservoir and the pump. So if you need to service that, and then another access point above, which is really nice for our technicians at National Indoor RV Centers. Right as I walk in the door, I want you to notice a great grab bar here. Now again, this is gonna be backed in steel, it's E-coated, um, anything, your cabinets, anything that's screwed into the walls at Winnebago is backed into steel. So very strong and sturdy, easy in and out. Fire extinguisher, this is great. Can you can use that outside easily or inside? Now I do want you to go check out my Protang fire suppression system video. One of the things that you'll learn with National Indoor RV Centers is we don't sell something, we don't market something unless we truly believe in it. So we have Retroband, which is our run flat device, and Protang fire suppression system. Go and check out that video. So lots to talk about right here. We have our multiplex lighting switch, and one of the cool things about this is that you can take this whole panel off and kind of have it as a remote if you want. So it makes it easy for me to show you what's on here. We have our galley lights, lounge lights, our compartment, storage compartment lights, hall lights, awning lights, and our porch light. And then my favorite buttons right here, master on and master off. So when I walk in the coach, I can literally hit master lights on, or when I'm leaving, master light off, and it's just so simple. Love that, and then I love that it's got, you can, you can move that panel. And then it just pops right back into place. Now just below the light panel, we have our jack. So this is really cool. You can level your coach so you get to the campsite. You wanna level real quickly. As long as your ignition is on and your park brake is set, you can turn this on and level right here or store your jacks from right here. This is your awning power button, so you just turn it on. Then you can extend your door awning in and out or your patio awning in and out. Also have your chassis battery disconnect, then your step control. So once you're at the campground, you, want, you don't want the step to come out every time you open the door, so you can turn that on and off from here. And your house battery disconnect. Finally to the beautiful interior, I love this. So this is the tapestry interior with the gray ultra fabric and then the driftwood wood color. So it's just really nice, pretty neutral um, palette. You can add any other color you want to this. So let's check out the storage that we have here in the front. Nice storage compartment here, little one below. Inside this cabinet, we have the Wi-Fi extender, and then we have two 110 outlets, another 110 outlet, our cable input, and our Wi-Fi booster. Another huge storage cabinet here. and a nice size storage cabinet over the driver's side. Controls for the driver's side slide out and for the passenger side rear slide out. Now with Winnebago, you have to make sure that you have your park brake set and your ignition on for those slide rooms to work. You'll notice our little Winnebago, the flying W. So a little story behind that. Do you know what, how we came up, they came up with the flying W? It was John K. Hansen's six-year-old son, so way back when, he had him write out the word Winnebago, and that's how he wrote it with the flying W over the rest of the word. So that's just kind of iconic for the RVs, and again, you'll see that throughout the coach. Now we're to this beautiful dinette. So we've got the dream dinette, and it's gonna have seat belts. So seat belts, one, two, two more seat belts with a child tether on the forward facing booth dinette. We also have three seat belts in our sofa. So that's gonna give us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine seat belts in the 38W. That's huge. This is a bunkhouse floor plan, so you're gonna have extra kids with you. Great to know that they can all be safely seated. So the Dream Dinette is super comfy, especially once you tuck those seat belts in. <laughs> um, but you can easily get four to the Dinette. It will sleep too and you have storage underneath each booth. So I'll show you how easy it is to make it into a bed. 
Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is take out this cushion here. This will become the portion that covers the tabletop. And then I'll lift the seat. When I lift the seat, check out the amount of storage that we get below. Lots of storage. Now, a lot of manufacturers will just put a drawer in here, but you lose the use of a lot of that space. So I really like that they make all that available. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Just as much storage over here. And you can see the child um, seat tether there for that seat belt. So now I'm just going to move the lever to the other side and push straight down. Now I've got the base for my bed. Also note we've got the cup holders. We have the two 110 outlets. I'm going to go ahead and bring my seats down. Add the cushion. Well, I've got the cushions up. These are all made in Winnebago's Stitchcraft facility. And you can see that you've got the tag on here, just like I showed you on the door outside. If for some reason this was ever damaged or you need to replace it, all you have to do is call Winnebago with this number for and order a new one. Super easy. One bed done. Now let's go do the next bed. So this is our sofa and we're going to turn it into a jackknife sleeper. So I'm going to take off these back cushions. All you need to do is just lift up, pull forward, and a little leg's going to come out. And then you're going to pull this cushion, your back cushion, forward. And there's your bed for two full-size adults. And I can even put my cushions back here, give myself a bit of a cushioned headboard. <laughs> Super comfy. So now I'm just going to sit down to enjoy my living room area. I have a little desktop here. Winnebago makes this so easy. So we have these little silver discs on either side of the sofa. I just insert that into the disc. Now I've got a little like dinner tray or iPad station, computer station. Really nice that I can put that on either side of the sofa. Cup holder here. So while I'm sitting here, I can easily turn on my fireplace. Now the fireplace really does heat up your coach. It's probably the quickest way to warm up the coach. So I can go ahead and just turn it on. I can adjust the flame. I can set the heat. And I can put it on a timer. Do I want it to run for eight hours, for one hour? I can totally customize that and just turn it off all by the remote. Or you can use the push button controls actually on your fireplace. Then we have our big 50 inch Samsung TV. Great to view from here, but you can even do this. Got to pull the little strap here and release the TV so that if I want to direct that to those sitting at the booth or just a little bit closer here or even I can pull it out and they can watch it from the bunk rooms. Again, Winnebago makes a bracket for the TV. They loom all the wires together so everything just fits in there nice and easy and then when I'm done and I'm ready to put it back in the case, it looks right in and again it's going to be nice and secure when I'm going down the road. Right below the TV, we have the Samsung sound bar. And then just above the TV, storage compartment here, and then our AV compartment. So we have a uh, 110 outlet, we have the satellite receiver connections, and our Blu-ray DVD player, and HDMI cord. Look at all the storage you have above your dinette and your sofa. Now you can option in a theater seat here also. So give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers so that we can go over the standard options and then the things that you can add to your coach. All that storage, no divider between the two. I mean, there's the divider here, but no divider in the middle so that you can really get a lot of items up there. And then just below the cabinets, we have the light panel for the living room area. Look at all the windows you get in the Forza. You also get 
the windows that can tilt open. So again, you can have those open during a rainstorm. MCD day and night shades. Now, if you're taking eight, nine people with you, you need to have a big refrigerator. So we have the Whirlpool residential refrigerator freezer. So nice big freezer here. And refrigerator. It's as big as my one at home. And we have the travel lock. So that's really important. Make sure you have a pre-trip checklist, something that you check through before you leave. I've got one. If you'd like a copy, please just email me at Angie, A-N-G-I-E, at nirvc.com. Be happy to send you my list. And that's you can see that also on the RV 101 series that I do. Pantry with adjustable shelves. Love that. So you can get the big cereal boxes in here if you need to. Whirlpool microwave and convection oven. Nice and big. You can bake whatever you want in here. Cookies, bread, biscuits, try it all. It's not a problem. And then Winnebago gives you a little tap so you can open your door easily. Propane cooktop, three burner cooktop. And I love that it has the cover on it. So if you're not using the cooktop, you've got extra prep area. Nice, beautiful Corian countertops. Two 110 outlets so you can plug in the coffee pot, the Instapot. You can have the Instapot in the sink going down the road so that when you get to your destination, you're, you're ready to have dinner, which is great. Again, you've got your MCD nightshade here. Great lighting in the kitchen area. Two bowl stainless steel sink with the residential faucet and nice little space here for spices or whatever. Let's check out all the storage that we get in the kitchen. Adjustable shelf here. That's really nice because if you have like an air fryer or Instapot, something taller, you wanna keep it up there, you can adjust those shelves to fit it. Same here, more adjustable shelves. And look at these big drawers below our propane cooktop. Nice big drawers. And then four more. So really a lot of storage and we haven't even got to the best part. Look how huge that is. And we have a place there to securely keep our sink covers when we're not using them. Place for a garbage can, um, easily big enough for that. And two more 110 outlets. We have a panel light for the living room area. So all the lights. One thing I neglected to tell you that anytime you see the arrows, up or down arrows, you can hold that light to dim it and then set set it if you'd like. So that's a dimmable light, that's a dimmable light. We also have the controls for the fan here in the kitchen. So you can put it up and down and then control the fan speed. Thermistor for the mid part of the coach, that's gonna communicate with the thermostat to keep you nice and cool. Speaking of being nice and cool, we have two 15,000 BTU AC units with heat pumps in the Forza 38W. So to the bunk area. So this is great space. Tons of space here, nice big mattress. I'm sure you're wondering how big it is. Well, I wanna just let you know, wall to wall length, it's 74 inches. And then the width of the mattress is about 25, 25 and a half, 26 inches. Very soft, comfortable mattress. And we have windows for the top bunk and the bottom bunk that you can open. So that, you know, some people, if they're a little bit claustrophobic <laughs> when you go into a bunk, it's nice to have those windows. Now, the cool thing about this is, say you're getting the bunk room because you want to take the grandkids with you. Well, we know that the grandkids can't always come with us. So this space is gives you other options. So all you have to do is push up and lock in the upper bunk here look at all those storage pockets we have now those can be used by the person that's in the bottom bunk too and then we have a wardrobe that we can just pop down here and so we can hang this can be a full wardrobe and storage here or if you take your pets with you you can put dog crates here and we have a great storage area so put all the kids stuff in here we've got the subwoofer and not done there's still more believe it or not behind the privacy drape we've got 
two USB charging ports, one for the upper bunk, one for the lower bunk, and push button light for the upper and lower bunks. And then we have the privacy curtain that you can just easily pull out each side and let them have their little fun private area. Before we head into the bathroom, I just want to go over the Vega touchpad here that pretty much controls almost everything on the coach. Now the cool thing about this is I'm going to skip ahead a little bit here and go to settings and right in there I can go to my mobile app and I can pair this onto my phone. So a lot of the functions that I can do on the mobile app uh, or right here on the control panel I can do on my mobile app. So um, lighting, temperature, slides, so that's pretty cool. See my tank levels, turn on my water pump, house battery levels, so I love that option. So let's go everything, everything here. So this is going to give us the readout for our fresh gray, our black gray, and our LP tank. So remember we have two gray tanks because we've got two showers, two full showers on the 38W. Uh, our AC, front and rear. Water pump, we can turn it on right here. Our master light switch, I love that, on or off. And then our generator, we can start and stop that there. Also, we can see um, what kind of power we're bringing into the coach and the source of that power. So right now we're plugged into a 30 amp shore power. Um, AGS is disabled, our inverter is disabled, and we're in absorption charge on our batteries. So this is gonna give us our battery information, house battery, chassis battery, inverter is disabled right now, we're in a float charge. This will give us more inverter information and faults. And here this will is where we can customize our inverter we have 400 amp hours left on our batteries and we have flooded batteries. And we can also enable our auto gen start here and customize those settings. Lights, so we have our master lights on and off, our porch lights, awning lights, driver side map light, compartment la lights, so our baggage compartments, and our passenger side map light. Then we can go to our main lights so we've got the galley, the lounge, the galley overhead, sofa, dinette, and hall lights. And remember that arrow means that we can dim those lights. And the rear lights. So bedroom ceiling, rear bath, mid bath, left overhead, right overhead, and bunk lights right there. Now to our slide room control, we can take our slides in and out here. Of course, we do have to have the ignition on and park brake set for that to work. Temperature con control, you can see it's nice and toasty in here right now. <laughs> 85 degrees, but we can turn it on and off from here, turn our furnace on and off, set uh, what temperature we want to have front and rear, and then we can control our overhead fans in the galley, mid bath, and rear bath. And this is our settings, so we have our screen brightness, setting our time, Fahrenheit, you can change that to Celsius, Fahrenheit, just customize the screen switch information, network diagnostics, cleaning mode, if you hit that, this will black out so that you can wipe off the screen. And then the mobile app is where you can scan and um, connect your mobile device. So we have our Truma AquaGo. This is for our on-demand hot water and continuous hot water. So we can set um, the temperature, we can turn it on here, we can go to eco mode, and this is boost mode here below. You just don't wanna go to clean mode because it's basically gonna cycle the system for about four hours or more, so just keep the kids away from that. If you're gonna clean your system, let us take care of that for you. Come to National Indoor RV Centers for that. And down below, we've got our propane alarm. All right, we're gonna head into the midship bathroom. Um, again, this coach has two full bathrooms, two full showers. You're gonna be impressed at how big this bathroom is. It's really roomy. Towel bar right here on the door, two towel hooks right when you walk in. I love that so they're not laying on the ground. You've got a multiplex lighting switch here for your bath um, bath ceiling, the water pump, and then the controls for the fans. So you can turn it on and off. Counter space here with the stainless um, steel sink, one bowl and residential faucet, nice big mirror, and then medicine cabinet for more storage. We've got two 110 outlets, 
magazine holder, or you could ha actually hang towels from that too if you wanted to. Furnace vent here, place for our toilet paper holder, and storage, plenty of room. We could put a little waste basket in there. And then what I really like about this is this big window because I think that's part of what makes this bathroom feel bigger is that you've got some, you know, window, you can open it up so it gets some ventilation. We also have the day shade and the night shade in here that you can easily pull down for privacy. The pedal push, um, the pedal control toilet. So, and then we've got the little sprayer here. Um, if you need to add extra water or just to spray out the bowl and make sure it's nice and clean and then come on into the shower. It is nice and big. So look how big this is. Um, I'm about, let's just say I'm five, six, maybe fetching a little bit and I've got heels on. So you can see I've got plenty of space here. We have the Oxygenix shower head. So you've got basically, you can take a military shower really easily. Lather up rinse off and you can turn it on and off right here and adjust the spray right there and i love that we have the shower seat so for us ladies if you want to shave your legs you can easily do that and we have the um, travel lock so this door isn't going to open and shut while you're traveling down the road you just simply hit that and then you can slide it shut Finally, to the master bedroom. So we have a privacy door because we've got a lot of people with us. We do want some privacy. See how nicely that just shuts and gives us full privacy from the rest of the coach. Then we have our queen's, queen size mattress here. And right in front, we've got our breaker box and our resettable fuses. Both sides of the bed, we have space where you can actually make the bed. You're not going to rip your rings off or your knuckles. <laughs> um, wireless charging pads on each nightstand. And then just below that, we have the two USB charging ports and two 110 outlets. So if you've got a CPAP machine, you can easily plug that in here. Windows with the day and the night shades. And we can also open those windows for a nice cross breeze. And we have storage above. Nice storage there. Padded headboard. Lights underneath. And we've got another light panel here that's right underneath the cabinet. So we have our bed ceiling lights, our hall lights, our left overhead, and our right overhead, so our reading lights. And then we can start and stop the generator from here, which is really nice. I have a lot of customers that ask for that feature. And then our master lights on and master lights off, which again, I love that because I don't have to sit there and lay in bed wondering if I got them all off or all on. I can just hit the button. And check out all the storage we get in this master. So huge wardrobe bar and there's no divider here. So literally one big continuous closet nice and big a recessed area in here so you could put shoes down there i'm going to use every bit of this space and then nice big drawers and you've got to love full length mirror so you can check out the outfit <laughs> and then we have a thermistor for the master bedroom now you're probably wondering what we're missing so lots of storage great storage here no TV, but Winnebago's giving us that too. So you just push this little latch here, and voila! There's your TV, 27 inch Samsung TV. Finally to the master bathroom. Now look how big this is, two full size ba um, bathrooms, it's huge. So a lot of counter space here, I love, and storage. Look at those full length drawers. Two more and storage above, nice and deep, so you might need to get a plastic container to get to that, and then a big medicine cabinet behind our big mirror. So love that because that's so much storage. I'm so happy they get us access. Now you can add in the optional washer and dryer. So our dryer is right behind this panel here. Storage above, nice and deep, and our optional washer is right here. I love that they've given us a sink cover so we can use all this space. Single bowl, stainless steel sink, residential faucet. 
and two 110 outlets, and then so much counter space. Porcelain toilet with the button flush, We've got our toilet paper holder, towel holder, and then check this out. Nice big window here. This is also going to be your emergency exit window. Multiplex light switch, so for our ceiling lights, our water pump, and our fan, so on and off. Our flying W towel hook, and then our next big shower with the skylight in it. So again, lots of room in here. Oxygenic shower head again, so you can turn that on and off here and adjust the spray. And a little seat in here too, so we can shave our legs. Really nice with the same travel secure locking system. Now I always like to show the floor plans with the slides in. So this is the 38W with the slides in. You can see that you can get to your master bedroom and sleep on that bed without extending the slide. So if you need to spend the night at a Walmart or at a truck stop, you can do that without taking your slides out. Easily get to your bunk. No problem getting into the bathroom. In fact, very spacious. We can even watch TV, sit on our sofa. I can do all my kitchen prep and cooking right here. Access to the booth and no problem getting into my refrigerator or freezer with the slides in. Now to the interior of the 36H. So this is the Alpine interior with the taupe ultra fabric and the walnut color wood. Isn't it gorgeous? I turned around the captain and co-captain's chairs so that you can see how big this looks. Nice big living room with the optional theater seating and the fireplace entertainment center here. Windows so you can see outside. Great big roomy booth dinette. And then we have the bonus bed overhead. So you do have to have your coach in ignition mode park brake set, and then you're going to turn the key to on, and you can bring that bed right down. Look at that great bed. We've got our light right there. So this will support up to 500 pounds. You can attach your ladder here, and great little cargo space there, where you can store your goods along with the two uh, storage bins on each side of the bed. So I love this pretty entertainment center with the storage here and our pull-out drawer. Nice big drawer. Storage above. And all the storage above the theater seating and the dinettes. More storage here, and then the extendable kitchen counter, which I just love. They do that, and it's so easy to put up, and just as easy to take down. Corian countertop, look at these beautiful sink covers with our two bowl stainless steel sink. Always love to have those sink covers because you can cover up the dirty dishes if you need to. See my little trick? And then there's a place underneath where you can store these. Check out the storage we have in our kitchen. Adjustable shelves. More adjustable shelves. Great little spice rack below. And nice big space here where we can put our um, sink covers and room for a, a trash can. I always like to be able to tuck that away. Great drawers residential refrigerator freezer nice big pantry space here with adjustable shelves and then we have the optional washer and dryer the bathroom for the 36H nice and roomy we've got two big medicine cabinets behind our mirrors nice counter space here with the single bowl sink more storage up top, max fan, towel bar, and then again, nice big shower with the oxygenic head, skylight, so we've got extra space here, and then of course the seat again. A bonus to the 36H is that we get the king size bed, and then all the storage. 
nice big window. I love that. And then storage. Look at all those drawers. You can bring everything with you. <laughs> Full length mirror so you can check out the outfit again. And then look at that nice storage. You can make that a wardrobe, adjustable shelves. And another big wardrobe here in the back. This is the 36H with the slides in. You can sleep completely, fully on your king size mattress. You can get into your washer and dryer. Easily get into the bathroom. No problem getting into the refrigerator or freezer. You can be cooking here at the booth dinette. Easily get to the front of the coach. No issues whatsoever. Plenty of walking space in the 36H. Finally up to the dash area. First of all, I want to talk about the captain's chair. It is so comfy. Um, and again, this is all made by Winnebago. If you want to see how you adjust the armrest, it's right there, a little dial, and you get it so it's just perfect. Here is your backrest. Here is the lever that allows you to rotate the chair. And then you can go forward, back, down, up, until you get it just right. To my left, I have the electronic leveling jacks. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it on. I need to have the coach in uh, ignition mode with the park brake set. And then I'm just gonna hit auto level. I wasn't able to level. That is going to happen sometimes, and you may have to move your coach and adjust to a more level area so that it can. But you probably only want to cycle through that two times, and then you really need to give it the system a break so that you don't burn up that pump. Once it's all level, it will give you an alert to let you know that it's level. You can turn off the system, and you're good to go. When you're ready to leave again, when your jacks are down, you just hit retract, and all the jacks will come out, and you'll be ready to go controls for your exterior mirrors and the mirror heat, the defrost for your exterior mirrors, your nightshade up and down, and you can turn on your generator right here. Map light, battery boost. So battery boost is really important. If you come back to a dead coach, you need to tie those batteries, your house and your chassis batteries together so that you can start your generator, run your generator for a little bit, and then start your ignition air horn. I'm always going to have that on if I'm driving something this big. Nice cup holder here. Our light switch so we can turn on our running lights, our headlights, pull it out for your fog lights, and then we've got our aux lights. So these are the boogie lights or the disco lights underneath the coach. Turn those on. Your front aux light is kind of your show off lights and your front headlights. And then this is if you are wanting to listen to your radio inside the coach when the engine is off, you would just push that on. Nice cup holder here, storage space, and then we've got the parking brake and the pedal to adjust the steering column. The paddle on my left is for our windshield wipers so I can adjust the speed there. It's also my turn signal left and right and when I do that I'm going to see down the full length of the side of my coach and I'll press it in if I want the windshield wiper fluid and then I can flash my brights or push back to keep my brights on. We have the drive Technic technology in the Freightliner custom chassis here. Great display screen here and then I'm going to go through all the information on the screen that you have at your fingertips which is really nice. So I'm going to go to my home button I can go to my trip information and scroll through that. Go back, go to trip two. Again, scroll through that information. Go to my gauges. Here I can, if I hit OK, I can scroll through the different gauges that I can have pop up here. So get to the center. I can change to see what I want to have pop up quickly on my screen. Fuel economy. Vehicle configuration. So the dash brightness, Bluetooth, 
the unit standards and diagnostics. So you can see your faults, internal diagnostics, and transmission. So this is where we could get our oil level, oil filter, oil life, once the engine's running, and system information. Go back to our home button. So we can go to our quick gauges, and that's what you can totally customize um, by going through that process I just showed you. But that's a quick, you know, you can just bring that up at any time real fast if you want to scroll through those. We have the volume control for the radio, plus and minus. The air horn, <laughs> you want to make sure they know we're coming. And then everything over here, so cruise control, we can set it here, resume, council in the center. We can flash our marker lights here, so if we want to thank a trucker for letting us know it's safe for us to pull back into our lane, we would just flash those marker lights right here. And we can mute the radio there answer a call, hang up on a call. If you're impatient like me and you wanna air up your coach really quick, you just turn on your cruise control and hit the set and you're gonna see those uh, RPMs raise and you're gonna, it's gonna help you air up the coach a lot faster. Our paddle here is for our transmission. So it's really nice because it's all at your fingertips again. You can go into drive, neutral, reverse, right there and our engine brake is on this paddle as well. So engine brake off, push it down, engine brake is on. We can also manually shift here by pushing back or going forward. Say we're you know going up an incline or a decline, we may wanna do that manual shifting. And then to go back into auto mode, you just push that in and you're back in auto shifting. Hazards, in case of an emergency, ignition, then we have our nine inch display here. This is touch screen, so you can scroll through your radio, your XM radio, Bluetooth, you can connect your phone. Rear camera. And then you can scroll over, connect your USB, customize your screen here. Home button, volume control. If you hold here, you can turn the screen on and off. Options, so again, you can just use the buttons here versus the touch screen, seek through your radio stations, and voice command. Then you have your vents for your AC and your heat, your fan, cool and hot, AC button, inter uh, circulate the air inside or bring it in from outside, and then you can direct where you want that air to flow. Cup holder here, nice little spot for your cell phone, 12 volt outlet and two USB charging ports. Here is the cable for the USB input so you can install that wherever you want. I went ahead and put my charging cord on it, my USB in. And now if I go to my maps, I have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto and I can put in all my information there. I love that. All right, here are the co-captain's chairs. A lot to tell you about. First of all, we've got controls here. This is for our footrest, so I wanna get really comfortable while we're driving down the road. I'm gonna go ahead and put that out. And then I can move the seat forward or back, up and down, just like the captain's chair. All right, so now I wanna show you this really cool table that just fits in right next to the chair. I love it, and then you can pull it back. So you have a little workspace as you're going down the road. Put your laptop up here, crossword, and then it just tucks nicely away and you hardly even know it's there. Now to the right of my um, little table here, I've got the lever that's going to allow me to turn the chair. And then I also have my backrest control. So this is really nice. When this is turned around, you're gonna have a footrest. You can lean that back. You basically have another recliner inside the coach. When driving, you wanna make sure you put the step cover out so that you don't fall in that stairwell or that you're pets don't fall in there so that's nice and sturdy and then we've got our map light which is toggles on and off cup holder cup holder storage space below and then just behind me I have two USB charging ports 
and two 110 outlets. In front of me here, I've got a nice storage compartment. I can also charge my phone, two USBs, 112 volt, and then a nice little cubby here for more miscellaneous items. Now, what I really love is that we've got this big, huge window for the passenger here, and I can easily, once we're not driving, I can pull down my blackout shade and it just hooks right there, blacks out that window nicely. I've got my day and my night shade here. So we're just about ready to head out on the test drive of the Forza. So if you've never driven a Class A diesel, come out to National Indoor RV Centers. We'd love to take you for a test drive. Um, really nothing to be afraid of. You just have to get used to a few things. One of the things is that your turning point is the middle of your front axle. So you're actually gonna put your nose out there. You're not gonna start your turn until your front axle, the middle of the front axle is at the turning point. So it just takes a little bit getting used to. And then if I heard it once, I heard it 10,000 million times. Um, hug the left side of the lane that you're driving in. Don't always stay in the left lane, just hug the left side of the lane because everything bad happens to the right. Street signs, tree, tree limbs, all that stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna turn on my blinker and you'll be able to see down the full length of the side of the coach when I do that and we'll head out. So the other thing I can do is I can watch my rear tire too. If I'm going to clip the curb, I can see that and I can slow down and adjust and miss it, which is great. The only way you get into trouble in an RV, well, you know, for the most part, is if you're in a hurry. So if you're out enjoying the lifestyle of RVing, take your time, enjoy the getting there as much as being there. And that's what I really say. The, the trip starts when you get in this seat because you really should enjoy the whole view along your way. And then you get to a beautiful resort or campsite, and then you can really enjoy this coach as well. So what are you waiting for? Come to National Indoor RV Centers. We'd love to let you test drive. We really want to make this easy and we want to make sure you're getting into the right coach. So we're happy to have you test drive. Um, we are there to help you through every step of the buying process. And then really, once you pick up your coach delivery, that's when our relationship really starts because we want to be there for the servicing of your coach everything you need from the time that you buy the coach until the day that you decide you want to upgrade we want to be there to help you so now i'm on the road it's nice smooth ride here got my freightliner custom chassis underneath me which i love and i love all the drive tech features here everything's at my fingertips um so in just a second here i'm going to go ahead and turn on my cruise control and get up to 50 miles per hour on this road and go ahead and set it now I can just sit back and relax and enjoy the view out of this huge windshield. Again, with the small A pillar, I have so much visibility. I just love it. And we have such a beautiful country that we get to enjoy. So this is the way to do it. Safest way to travel. Um, you can take your family. Like I said, this will sleep, what, eight, nine people? A, a ton of people. Probably more than you want to take with you. <laughs> but um, as you're driving, I said, you'll get comfortable. Um, that you fit in the lane. I know you feel kind of bigger than it, but as you're going down the road, you can sort of watch the um, center stripe in your mirror, and you can see right where you're staying so that you can kind of get used to hugging that left side of the lane. Um, I say hug the left side of the lane because tree limbs, they can be super expensive. Um, if you happen to get in a little uh, accident with a tree limb or with a, another coach or a boulder, um, your first call should be National Indoor RV Centers because we have the best paint and body uh, team. They're basically artists. They will make your coach good as new, maybe even better. So, you know, if you've watched my videos before, I always do the decibel reader because I want you to know, you know, how quiet it is inside the, the front cockpit here of the coach. So 67.2, super quiet. You're not going to have a problem having a conversation with your co-captain here. Anyway, it's just a, it's a breeze. So one of the cool features that you get with the Freightliner custom chassis is the drive tech technology. So you have this great big dash. Look at how easy it is to read um, in the daytime or at night. And then if I want to, you know, scroll through some engine information quickly, I can just hit that button on my steering column and I can see that all that information Everything's at your fingertips, even your um, transmission controls. 
And that's a little different for people. A lot of times in the Class A diesels, your controls have always been over here to your left. Well, now everything's just at your fingertips. So they really are trying to make it easy, and more of an automotive experience. I can also just throw on my engine brake, just that easy. Um, now when I come to um, a stop, when I put on my brakes, it will start actively braking for me. You also notice how smooth this is riding. So smooth and quiet. We have the V-Ride suspension, rear suspension with the Freightliner custom chassis that's gonna give us extra stability um, as we're driving down the road. I hope you've enjoyed my tour today of the 38W and the 36H Winnebago Forza 2022. Now I'm sure you're wondering what it would cost to get you into one of these gorgeous coaches. Well, MSRP on the 38W is $319,786 and MSRP on the 36H is $319,661. If you want to know how much I can sell you them for, please Give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers, 469-277-1330, or go to our website, nirvc.com, and you can see all the coaches we have available. We have RV Lifestyle Specialists. Yep, they're RV Lifestyle Specialists that are there waiting to help you. They can tell you what options are available on all of our coaches, and really we wanna make this the easiest purchase you've ever had. You know you can finance these for 20 years. We do financing, we take in trades, we do consignments, we do direct buys. So whatever you need, we're there to help you. We also do wash and detail, storage, basically we do it all. Now remember, with our volume and economies of scale, our RVs simply cost less at National Indoor RV Centers. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call. If you've enjoyed this video and would like to see more just like it, please hit the like and subscribe. Also check out my tow package video, my Winnebago factory tour, and my Freightliner factory tour. Thank you so much for spending this time with me today and have a wonderful day.